Hello everyone, it's Adam here. These are the Pivot Pegs MK3 for the R1200GS. Uh, we're going to install these on um, just one side for now. And uh, let's first start off and compare these with the OEM and GSA pegs. I think GS pegs are slightly different uh, than the GSA pegs. So the uh, the peg upgrade for the GSA is less of a less valuable than um, in the GS because they already kind of come with pretty large pegs. We got some instructions here. We got a sticker, which honestly, guys, could up your sticker game here. This thing is way too flashy. Just do a, a black on a white on black sort of thing, uh, or just do pivot pegs with no border at all. Make it easier to uh, on a bike like mine. Okay, so um, here's the instructions. So we have uh, split pins are necessary. For assembly, if your bike uses circlips instead of split pins, please use the factory ones. Um, and then they've got a note in here actually about these guys here. Spacers are required for your BMW. Read spacer info sheet for fitment details. So there's some spacers in here as well. So as far as how they compare to the, see, is this the right one? Oh, wrong side. The uh, OEM pegs. So there they are side by side. The pivot pegs are shorter, but they are narrower, but uh, longer width. So underneath, you've got a little bit of overhang there, and you've got teeth that are angled inward on the outside as opposed to just straight up and down. We'll see how they go. Everyone really likes these things. I kind of wish they were black, but um, let's give this, a, give this a go. If you look underneath the GS here, there's a little clip. If you use a little small flathead screwdriver, you can pull that clip out and then push this bolt straight up. And that's how we're going to get this uh, OEM peg out. All right, so we're looking straight down at the peg right here. Um, this is a pretty easy process. There's a clip under here. You're going to use a small little flathead screwdriver to grab that. There we go. And this thing it tends to pop out and go crazy and uh, you'll lose it. So, uh, and you will need this. So don't, don't, don't lose it. Now we're going to push this pin up from the bottom. I tend to use a screwdriver, find the bottom there and then uh, push it up like that. Hopefully we don't need to remove the shifter. Oh, that is a tight fit, isn't it? See if we can slide this out without needing to do that. Good, okay. So we have this right here, and uh, and the peg just comes right off. Now you're not gonna need to reuse this spring at all, so you can uh, put this in a safe place, basically. I'm gonna clean this up. One of the few times I'll get to, to do that. Okay, so now we have the pivot peg itself. It comes rubber banded with a, uh, well, rubber band. So, let's see, make sure we're, there we go. Okay. So now we have this uh, rubber band off. We can do that. Put this to the side for a second. What you're going to do is you're going to um, grease up the OEM, OEM bolt. I just got some um, brake caliper grease. Nothing crazy. Just gonna do a little bit of touch up here like that. Put it on there. And we're gonna run this through the hole a couple times to get everything in here lubed up. And we're also gonna grab this spacer that comes with it and move that up as well, which is important for later. Now we also have here a, uh, a white spacer piece. So you can put this bolt off the side, obviously not in the dirt. And you're going to uh, put the spacer piece down through the top here, and on the bottom, you're going to uh, affix 
the metal spacer to the bottom like that. Boom. Now, um, take some of this crap off though. Okay, so now we have all this assembled, spacer on the bottom, white piece through the middle. We're going to grab our spring, flip this over, and this way, like that. So you'll see how it's kind of here, so it can only go here or here, as far as to We're going to slide that right into place. And now we're going to find our lubricated top bolt. We're going to slide this right down the bottom right through there. Now, to get this to fit, you have to push the peg in towards the bike. To find that hole, you're going to need to get this bolt in there. And this took the longest time for me, is getting everything aligned. Now we can hammer a little bit. This part I'll edit over, which is just me basically getting this all lined up to get this bolt straight through down to the bottom. It's okay, see that? So now we have, uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but that white piece fell straight through, which means the bolt is all the way through. And now we have our little clip from the bottom right here. And this just comes through and latches down the bottom of the belt bolt. I'm going to use a little flathead screwdriver to push that all the way around. It clicks into place. Okay. Really, really, really simple installation. I mean, super simple. Really can't get any easier than that. I'm going to put my OEM pegs and springs into the box here and uh, tape that up in a safe place. Okay, so now we're on the brake side of the bike, brakes right here. Uh, to give you an idea how this works, you've got your standard uh, stopper where it stops right there and then of course this bottoms out right here. So this is because of that spring we installed right there, the little um, gold piece if you can see it. But what makes pivot pegs unique is uh, is this motion here. You've got the forward and you've got the backward motion. So when you're leaning forward or backward on the bike, um, this is going to um, move with you. So when you're leaning forward, it turns that way. So you've got your normal collapse if you drop the bike, but then also the forward back like this. Very nice, very meaty. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Um, so quick video, I guess. Thank you so much for watching, rock on, ride safe, and uh, take care. Guys, I wish this came in black though.